Hey, what's up? This is Omari Haribin. I'm currently testing out Lit Extension, and I'm uh, trying to create a migration from Squarespace to Shopify. So I just created a free account, and I'm going to now create a new migration. And I'm going to go from Squarespace. And I've got to share my URL. So let's do this. And all right. Now, I don't necessarily have um, too many products here, but just a couple demo products that I that I use for demo purposes. Um, but since this qualifies as a demo, it should be all right. So I just created a Shopify store a couple moments ago. Um, there's nothing, I haven't added any product, I've just started the trial. Um, so I need the store ID, which is right here, new SS store dot my shopify and the api password now to get an api password here we're going to go to apps scroll down to manage private apps click enable private app development and we're going to click enable and now we're going to click create private app Okay, and so we'll call this migration. Okay, so now we're gonna also set the permissions for all of these options to read and write. Read and write. Okay, once, you, once you've done that, just come down and hit save. Create app. And then now we have uh, an API password here. I'm gonna click show, and I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. All right, now let's click configure your migration. Okay, and so now I can select the entities to migrate. So I'm going to migrate everything possible here, including blog posts. Uh, and there's some additional options. I can clear current data on the target store. So there's no data on the target store because I just created it now. It's, it's a trial store. Um, transfer images to target store. Okay, uh, it looks like I have to pay an extra $39 for that. Uh, preserve order IDs. Okay. Create 301 redirects on your target store. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave those for now, but it's good to know that that exists. And let's see our order status. We're going to leave that as is. All right, so it says that my demo migration is now running. So I'm going to wait for this to complete. Uh, it says it's running in the background, so I don't even need to keep the browser open but I'm gonna keep it open. All right, so our demo migration is completed. Um, and so what it does is it doesn't do a full, you know, migration of, of everything. It just does partial. Um, then it gives you a quote 
on how much it will cost to, to complete. And so based on the number of products I have, number of customers, orders, um, blog posts, uh, I'd have to pay $89, which um, I think is really reasonable for this. Now let me jump over to Shopify here and show you what's happened. So under orders, you can see um, it's added all my orders here, which add up with the orders or match up with the orders I have in Squarespace. Um, let's look at the products. So it brought in, brought in uh, my digital products as well as kind of these physical demo products that I have. What else? Customers. So, oh, don't want to show you that, but brought over customers as well. Um, and also blog content. So if I go to blog posts, I can see it, it brought over my blog posts. So this is pretty good. Uh, let's look at one. So all the links, images, and then let's look at the product catalog as well. So pretty much brought over um, all of my products, it looks like. You can see, you can see what it looks like over here in Squarespace. Um, and then over here in Shopify. So product descriptions, copy that over. Um, the links that I had as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed. Um, I think for eighty nine dollars, being able to get all my blog content, all the products, product descriptions, the images, um, order information as well. I think that's really, I think this is a pretty useful tool. Um, rate that five stars. And uh, yeah, I think I would definitely, I would definitely recommend this. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's not much more to say about it than, than it, it works as expected and does what it says it would do. Um, and so from here, I think the next step would simply be to uh, kind of style the site and just go through and make sure everything is is as you'd like it, particularly the, the products. Um, one thing I would have to do is add the reviews, um, but I would have to do that separately, import the reviews from Squarespace into Shopify. Um, but other than that, again, this is this is really good. I'm happy with it.